All right. So let's focus in on what you are here for, my left brain friends. Again, left is active. So your brain system, your brain body system internally is designed to be busy with an active processing of what you're taking in from life. There's going to be a kind of focus in or a honing in on specificity or detail, you could say. You're creating linkages between bits of information. So you're very selective as far as how you're taking in or processing life. This is about your concentrated or periodic taking in of specificity. So you're actively linking within your brain body system. Again, your brain system here, your cognition or your body's hardware is coming from the design sun and earth tonal cognition. So that little uh, triangle inside of your body graph. And what we're going to be looking at with the active brain system is that you have much more demand for fuel. It requires more food than the passive brain body system. When you are operating correctly, so when you're operating correctly, you're going to have more hunger for fuel. Now, don't allow yourself to go hungry for a long period of time unless your authority says so, because you actually may need more food than you think you need. So let yourself eat more and maybe eat more often if you're still hungry. Pay attention to your hunger pangs. Don't uh, try to fast unless your authority is telling you to do so. Because what happens is if, if you underfeed your brain body system, you fast for long periods of time, what happens is you will end up with problems in your physical body. The first and primary most important symptom is not having enough energy. So your brain won't work correctly, your form won't work correctly, it's going to slow you down and it can be very deeply unhealthy for you. What it does also is it diminishes the capacity of your body to be attracted to and equipped for proper exercise because what the left brain body system will do is try to conserve the fuel that it does have and that leaves you with less energy to do the things, the activities that are correct for you. Now, I can see this personally in my life from my husband who has this left active brain body system who got really into keto and intermittent fasting. And he would go for long periods of time without eating. And I knew what was happening. I watched what was happening. And his brain system started deteriorating. He couldn't remember things. He wasn't exercising like he used to be, his muscles started to atrophy, he got really, really thin. Even though he was keto and he said he was fine, what I noticed was a deterioration from the outside looking in, a deterioration on his capacity to be healthy. And he's got a health channel, so it's really important for him to be healthy. Don't do this to yourself just because it's the latest fad diet. Make sure that you're fueling your brain correctly in taking in the material resources that you need because you really do need to eat food with this kind of brain body system. There's a greater demand for nourishment. Your brain uses enormous amounts of energy, so you're going to metabolize food much quicker. And most of what is taken in is what you're going to need to keep your brain energized because your brain uses more fuel. You're going to need more volume in order to maintain your activity level. And you're going to be busy about your own thing, focused in your own way, whatever your cognition happens to be, whether that be smell or taste or outer vision. Busy in terms of your neural activity, focused in on whatever your tonal cognition happens to be. So there's more communications, more linkages, the glandular system, the lymphatic system, it's all gonna be much more active with an active brain body system. So in order for you to be able to have this capacity for differentiation, you need the right kind of fuel. Whatever your co cognition happens to be is going to draw more fuel or resources from your body. So in order to um, attune to this, notice your brain system has more of this um, need 
for fuel and you're going to watch as maybe your not only your communication skills suffer but your ability to see things visual, visually see things clearly or you know be present and available be there in that moment to be attuned to what's going on so it's way more volume that you need in order to take in life correctly fuel